everybody. I, we're going to do another video for Lean Concepts, and today we're going to continue our discussion about flow. I'm still here in California in the garage <laughs> at my parents' house, so the grandkids could come say hi to their, uh, their my kids could say hi to their grandparents. So I got my whiteboard. Uh, the other thing is I'm referencing this from an IGLC article from uh, Flow in Tacted Projects. A Practical Analysis of Flow and Resource Efficiency. This is from Marco Vinegar, Janosh Dooley, and Shervin uh, Hagshanal. And so this is, uh, this is a published art article, and you can get this from the IGLC website. So what I wanted to, so there was a really neat part in here that said properties of flow. And so I researched these as a part of the TACT planning book and all of the uh, trainings that we do. And there's three key things that, that are key for flow. One is continuity. So we talked about how in a tax plan, you can see workflow, okay, trade flow, and logistical flow, okay? Uh, the, each of these cells in a tax plan are called tacts. So if these were blank right here, I'll just do a little X, then there isn't a continuity of work between each of these actual uh, tax wagons. Okay, so let me draw this again. So there's a lack of continuity in here. There's one, two open tacts in the work. Now, sometimes because you have a crew, maybe this is crew number one and you don't have a second crew, it has to go from area one to area two to area three for this activity. And then it can't, it can't go start this one until it's done here. And then it goes one, two, three for the second activity, but with the same crew. But that creates a lack of continuity between the workflow. Because remember, workflow, trade flow, or you can even say process flow, and then this is logistical flow, okay? The other thing is our rhythm. So let's cover this. Oh, so real quick on this one. So ideally, what we, what we would want to do here is if we had areas one, two, and three, we would have a crew to go ahead and do this first task. But using concepts of one piece flow, there would be, so that's crew one, crew two would be right behind them. And maybe there's a buffer in there, but crew two, oop, yeah, two, uh, you can see the workflow has good continuity. There isn't that gap. Okay, so this, this right here is good flow, good continuity flow. The other thing is rhythm. When we have a tax plan, uh, and I know I'm talking a lot about tax, but it's magic, it's absolutely magic. So uh, when you have activities on your tax plan, there's a stagger, there's a rhythm. Every time that drum beats, every week, another area of work comes online. There's a rhythm to it, and that's a component of time. This first one was a component of time too, but we, we basically want that, that rhythm, okay? We want that drum beat, boom, 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 boom. And trades know, they, or the process knows, boom, boom, boom. They, every time that drum beat hits, it moves to a different area, okay? Uh, the other thing is consistency. When we talk about flow and we have these schedules, you know, I, I talk a lot, I badmouth CPM a lot, and I'm getting worse about it. Like, I'm intolerable about it now. But, like, so when I do a flow analysis of a single trade in a CPM schedule, it'll show, oh, they did a really good job. They tried, oh, there's some stacking. Oh, they go backwards on their way over here. Oh, they're way backwards. Now there's five stacked on top of each other. There's no consistency. So if you're like, I need five workers today, I need 10 workers tomorrow, five workers the next, or let's say the next week. Uh, I need 30 workers that week. I need 20 workers that week, five, five, zero, five. Like if you look at the crew counts, the worker counts, it just it fluctuates. There's no consistency to it. And when you have a fluctuation in, in manpower uh, or crew counts rather, and materials, then uh, that expends money and it slows production because of context switching, because you're onboarding new people and the complexity of communication increases. So we have to have c c consistency. And when you do tax planning, let me just draw down here. 
yeah and you have you know this is your tack train areas one two three right then every week you know this this first trade they five workers five workers five workers and as you go down that five workers five work you've stabilized materials and manpower you have consistency these three things really support flow so there's one thing that i want to talk about uh, in nicholas modig's book uh, actually he has a co-author on that but he has a book called this is lean he talks about resource efficiency and he talks about flow efficiency so when we talk about uh, you know in construction it's a little bit different because really the the resource or the process is is in this line right here right and uh, the actual flow efficiency of the work is really right here okay uh, that's how i see it and so most of the time we prioritize flow efficiency however in construction it usually ends up being about 80 percent resource efficiency and 60% flow efficiency within the work being kind of the magical number. And I think that we can offset this and improve it. But what Nicholas Modig said, if this is resource efficiency, high, low, if this is flow efficiency, high, oh, this is uh, low, sorry, high. I'm glad you caught me on that, <laughs> keeping me safe, okay. We really don't want to plot data here. We want data up here where you have high flow and resource efficient work. So when we look at flow, we do want to get rid of these continuity gaps, these time gaps, these efficiency gaps. But most of the time in construction, because the workers and the resources are the process, uh, we really are 80% of the time you know, wanting to see that flow from a resource efficiency standpoint and most of the time we went above this but we get about 60 percent on the flow efficiency side bottom line though is when you can increase both of them and right here this is the ideal this is a flow efficient and a resource efficient tack plan right here and that's why tack planning allows us to visually see flow so there's a lot more to flow uh, there's a lot more to resource efficiency and flow efficiency, but this is going to cover it for our video today. On we go.